<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Vladin, R E. Yeah. Another pod system. Oh, too many pod systems. Can't believe you're reviewing another pod system. Here's the thing I actually really enjoy pod systems, I use them pretty frequently. I find myself in a lot of situations where kind of pod systems are just how I want to vape. So I always like running across new or interesting or unique pod systems. And today we're going to be talking about the Vladin, the Vladin RE. So last week we talked about that quit stick, which was a refillable pod system. The Vladin RE, the RE stands for refillable. And it actually does it in a much more convenient and I think superior way to that quit stick. But I want to show you how all of that is done. So what we're going to do is go up close real quick. And I mean real quick, uppy closey time, go. All right, we're really quickly going to set up this Vladin RE pod system. Obviously the box contains the giant FDA warnings. This product contains nicotine, which is a highly addictive substance, is not recommended to sell to non-smokers. Inside the plastic tray you get an instruction manual, a micro USB for charging, one empty Vladin pod, and one Vladin battery. I've been using the Vladin on and off for a few months now. I like the size and style of this battery and it does have an LED indicator which is pretty dope and I like that it's minimally branded it doesn't say anything huge across it like a lot of China loves to do that just huge logos and huge graphics thankfully this one just says right there Vladin which is a real weird name too so let's get this pod out of here and here's how you refill it the pods can only fit in here one way you try to flip this around it's just not gonna go it's just not gonna go in they can only go in one way and it follows the curvature of the battery and the pod itself but we want to fill this with juice so I'm just gonna grab this pod I'm gonna pop off the mouthpiece just like that and then you have a little uh, little rubber gasket up here that comes completely off this is one piece set this aside don't lose this this is the key to all of it you cannot lose this little rubber gasket and then as you can see from the top that's where your airflow is going to come from and then you have two holes, one for the juice to go in, one for the air to come out. It, it, it is a perfectly designed refill pod, man. We got some Yami Salt Tarturo here that I have been dying to vape, 35 milligrams. So we're just going to put the tip into the pod like this. Bleh, boom. That's it. That's literally it. It's so easy, so effortless. And then all you do is pop these rubber gaskets back in. One goes in the air hole, one goes in the juice hole. Boop, 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 just like that. And then I let this sit for maybe 15. I've let it sit for up to 20 minutes just to get the juice sort of wicking where it needs to wick. Boop, and then your mouthpiece goes on, and then boop, you can put this back in the battery, just like that. Just refilled that Vladin RE. Couldn't be simpler. Let's get back out to normal view, and now we will vape it. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. it. It could not be more simple. It's real easy to fill. It's it's real mess free. It's real leak free. And like I said, I like to let this sit for about 15 minutes to kind of get the juice going where it needs to go. Alternatively, you can kind of force it to get where it needs to go by putting your finger over this airflow hole on the bottom of the pod and kind of allow me to demonstrate. You take a little bit of a drag and then you kind of pull your finger off. And then when you look in your pod, you should see plenty of bubbles coming up. And that signifies, yes, the juice is getting where it needs to go now. Pod just kind of falls in via magnets. The magnets are okay. They actually hold it real nice. This battery is not heavy enough to kind of like come flying off of here. So there's honestly not a lot to dislike about this Vladin. It charges via micro USB on the bottom, which is a huge bonus. You know, you're not going to have any proprietary chargers. You can use any, uh, you know, micro USB to charge it. I like the size of the battery. I like the shape of the battery. I like the feel of the battery. I like the shape of the pods. It's real comfortable in your mouth. I like how easy this is to refill. I like how these kind of seat in here real well. And I actually really like the capacity of the tank as well. Tank. 
pod. I like the capacity of the pod as well. So one thing to kind of be aware of with these Vladen RE pods is they use a ceramic coil head in the bottom and this particular ceramic coil head has a real stiff sort of break in period, meaning I'm going to be vaping it for a little bit before I start getting any of that uh, sort of good flavor. It takes almost a whole pod of vaping to kind of break in that ceramic coil head. Like I said in the up close, I've got this loaded up with that Yami Vapor Saltnik Tarturo juice, which is a, a delicious juice. I have vaped a ton of it. And right out of the gate after the first refill, the first whole pod kind of just tastes like essence of your liquid you know what i mean it really does have like a break in time and the more you vape it the more good flavor you're going to get out of it and by the second time you refill your pod it should be all nice and broken in and you should be able to taste your juice it's still not great flavor it's still not like awesome flavor. Even when you break it in and you can start tasting your juice, it still tastes steel. Did I say steel tastes? It still tastes just ever so slightly, just slightly muted flavor. I had the original Vladen and, and I really, really enjoyed it. I loved the vape experience I was getting from it, except I didn't like any of the flavors of the pods that they released. It was three tobaccos and two menthols and I didn't really like any of them. But now that the Vladen RE is out there, I can fill the pods with whatever liquid I want to. And that greatly increases your enjoyment level of, of any vape, uh, but especially pod systems, I think. The airflow is smooth, but it is pretty tight. It's a pretty tight airflow from mouth to lung. You could try to lung inhale this, but I wouldn't recommend it. For me, it's a pretty great mouth to lung. It's hard to describe, you know what I mean? There, there's so many different airflows and there's so many different airflows that are adjustable and things like this that it's really hard to make a comparison. I will say it's not quite as stiff as the Fix. I use the Fix pod system as like the benchmark for like, this is the stiffest draw in a pod system. Or like the Zur. If you use the Zur, the Zur is all also a relatively tight, stiff draw on that pod. This, while still nice and tight for mouth to lung, is just a little bit more open. It's not like me pod open, but it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's just a little bit more open. The most important thing is that it works. It, it's very enjoyable. You don't have to, to suck on it to get the battery to ignite on a lot of really old pod systems. I don't know if anybody remembers the My Von Earl, but that thing, that thing was a piece of crap. The battery switch was real weird in it and you had to draw really hard to even just get the battery to activate. Such is not the case. Pod systems have actually come a real long way. And this is a real enjoyable vape. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Vladen RE. Eh, not really. Over on vladenvapor.com, the starter kit that comes with a battery, a micro USB charger, and one blank pod. $30, it's $29.99, so it's about $30 to get into it. And you can get spare pods, you can get spare blank pods, you can get two for $10, or you can get four for $15. So yeah, I mean, obviously four is, is the much better deal. So if we're gonna play the Aliens game, or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape is the Vladen RE something I would seek out and buy. It's gonna be difficult. This is going, in my opinion, directly head to head with that quit stick and I like the flavor more on the quit stick but I like the way that this refills more than I like the way that the quit stick refills. So this probably isn't going to be at the top of my must buy list, but if you want a real clean, easy to refill, you know, refillable pod system, the Vladen RE, 
All you need is juice and you'll be good to vape. So that's where I'm going to leave that. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make. But that's what I got for today, everybody. And I always say this, YouTube, they really dislike links to external vape shops in the description of these videos. And I don't like my videos getting flagged. So you will have to use your Google Foo if you're looking for this out there. But I will say, check out vladenvapor.com. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let's keep on vaping.